Joining us now for more on the Tembeka unwinding is PSG Group CEO uh, Pete Mouton. Good evening to you, Pete. Uh, you've got a record of making good acquisitions, and I think there are people who take notice when you make an acquisition and they want to know why, but perhaps more interesting is that you've done it at all. So what was the motivation behind this deal? Um, hi, good evening. Um, yes, the motivation about, uh, around this deal was a little bit more to do with um, Tembeka, our VE partner, and uh, there were a number of reasons for it. The, the, the black shareholders in the transaction have been uh, essentially locked in now for about eight years, and then with the closure of um, the OTC platforms, we thought... Uh, We've got to find a way to give them some sort of liquidity and uh, this merger between um, PSG and Tembeka seemed to be uh, make a lot of sense. Pete, it's Lindsay. We spoke earlier on today, but I want to ask a question that I asked of you earlier on, and that is you know, how the nature of the BE environment has changed over the years since you've been involved with, with PSG, certainly as a CEO. Things have, have changed markedly. I mean, the, the rather crude deals that we did 20 years ago are in complete contrast to what we're doing uh, today, and a good thing, I think. Uh, uh, most definitely, I do agree. I, uh, you know, you mentioned it, the early deals was all about um, enriching um, um, high-flying individuals where today we see a lot more broad-based transactions but i think uh, an, another issue has come to the forefront and um, i think i mentioned it to you today like uh, most of the transactions have got uh, specific lock-ins and uh, the only way the BE partners can truly get their hands on the cash eventually is to sell the stakes now that in effect means uh, the companies don't have BE anymore and they've got to do a new deal now. Um, I think companies uh, don't want to perpetually be doing uh, BE transactions. It's very negative for shareholders. So I think we'll see more and more going forward. Um, people doing uh, perpetual lock-in BE deals with the um, employee groupings. Pete, I mean, one understands, and I fully agree with you, the motivation from Timbeka's perspective, the change in the director from the, from the FSB in respect of over-the-counters, um, but there's a significant premium. From PSG's perspective, um, how do you explain and rationalize the decision to non-BE shareholders, um, and, and, and how do you justify such a significant premium? Okay, for, for the, the transaction at the end of the day, um, is uh, neutral or slightly beneficial to PSG and you've got to remember these uh, black um, parties that uh, have been in Timbeka have been our partners um, for many years and it's um, we both both sets of shareholders have benefited I mean PSG have benefited and they've benefited a lot and um, I mean, we sit with all the power on our side and the, the, we weren't going to take advantage of them and we were going to give them a fair deal because um, uh, th this is what I think they uh, deserve at the end of the day. Peter, I'm just going to ask a question here to Mark and, and Edward in Johannesburg. Perhaps you can listen and then comment. And we, I'm talking about the empowerment aspect, Mark. One thinks of uh, Lindsay saying that there were these primitive deals. Uh, one thinks of the Nedbank deal where you got four for three, four for the value of three. The Sassel deal, which caused a lot of excitement but then went underwater and people said, well, where's our money? And the problem with uh, these deals is that the market does operate. The market doesn't respect the deal uh, and may make it not worth the while of those shareholders. So it's a vexed thing still, even though we've progressed. Quite, but I think the way this is being done, you know, is enlightened, shall we say. Uh, and I think there is a culture developing that, um, you, know, you know, money doesn't grow on trees and patience is a virtue. Um, and I, certainly for me, I think, you know, the broad-based aspect of many of these deals has changed the landscape sort of considerably and for the, um, for the longer term good. So what Pete's uh, telling us I think is music to my ears. Mm. Edward? I, I, no, I don't really think. I mean, I think the PSG uh, shareholders and, and executives behind this decision has to be complemented. Uh, I think we find many, many um, BE beneficiaries who have locked in value on paper but actually never really are the beneficial 
um, participants of, of the value that they've created. So I think at some point in time, there has to be the ability to monetize or to, to, to get liquidity. And one would just hope that that uh, freeing up also has other multiplying benefits uh, in the economy. So overall, I think the PSG team has to be complemented. Pitt, let's talk about the semantics of the deal. Now, we've been talking about th theories and uh, ideology when it comes to black economic empowerment, but let's talk about what's going on here. Uh, Tebeka shareholders will receive 1.7 PSG shares. You're going to uh, issue more shares. Tell us more about that and what it means to you and to other PSG shareholders. Okay, so it's, uh, essentially, as you, have, as you mentioned there, we're issuing 11.7 uh, million uh, PSG shares, but um, uh, and then we take over the entire operation of Tembeka, which means we actually end up get, uh, with 9.9 .9 million of PSG shares uh, back in our stable, which we would cancel, and that's why I say it's actually got a very small effect on um, from a PSG perspective. What we also pick up in terms of the transaction is another uh, 2.9 million Capitec shares, and then. Some of the um, B uh, um, stakes that we still got that does, uh, that have still got lock-ins in them, we moved to a new, uh, let's call it a dem Becca two, which is a little baby that's being born out of this merger because that still has uh, the B lock-ins and the shareholder partner that we picked over there is going to be uh, Education Trust and. Um, I think it, it might be when uh, these deals come to the end of their life, this would be one of the biggest education trusts created in this country. Well, thanks to PSG Group CEO Pit